What's up guys? Welcome back. Great to see you all again as per usual. Thanks again for hanging out with me this week for my second video in Pandoween 2K17. Today I'm doing something super, super exciting, but it's not only the actual content of this video that is exciting, but this is actually my first time ever posting a collab video because I have a very special guest here with me today. <laughs> Bam! Bam! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is Madeline, aka Fire Chicken Cosplay, and if you are familiar with my cosplay vlogs, or if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that she's the Mabel to my Dipper, the Diva to my Tracer, Mark Marco to my star. star. What else have we done? Anyway, so today we are gonna be trying out terrible, terrible Halloween costumes that I bought at the great Canadian dollar store <laughs> for Four dollars. I think one of them was five, but all the other ones were four dollars. Uh, these were the bottom of the barrel Halloween costumes that nobody wanted. They started out at like thirty to fifty bucks, and now they're four dollars. All of this cost me about sixteen bucks for all of these after taxes and everything. Uh, these are all definitely going to the thrift store after we're done. <laughs> uh, all for your entertainment. Trying on terrible. Halloween costumes. I have four of them. They're all uh, hideous, but some are more hideous than others So we're gonna try the less hideous ones first mm -hmm. and then do the absolute most hideous ones second Here's your first one. My first one should we do like a big reveal? Yeah, let's do a big reveal. So this is my first one, which is a, a Halloween classic It's the sexy bumble. Oh, sorry the, the busy bee. This started out being $50 and I got it for a uh, Five. Uh, nobody wanted it. It's covered in packing tape for some reason. All of them are like covered in packing tape. Probably because they've been opened before. There you go. They are at the dollar store. They are at the dollar store. Uh, so quality goods. And then which, what's worse? I have the um, French Kiss. It's like a, uh, they, who knows? I, uh, it's, it's like vaguely Bollywood inspired. You're the guest on my channel. How about you I'm go the first? guest. I'm going first. All right. All right. Sounds good. Mm, where, should, the, where should we start? Where, should, where do we, like, where do we start on this? Like the cultural appropriation part of it is really uncomfortable. Um, yeah. the design's not great. It's cold. How am I supposed to trick or treat in this? That's the thing. It's cold. <laughs> That's the thing. And this keeps popping on. Like, yeah. So this, this is, I, as I was putting this on, this is, this is Velcro right here. Like um, there's just a there's little Velcro. bit of Velcro, and every time it, she was putting it, like <laughs> no, if you just kind of stretch too much, it just pops yeah. off. Yeah, you're at your party, you're like busting a move, <laughs> and it's only like, bam. bam you know, my, here's my underwear. Yeah, it's a Halloween surprise. <laughs> what I want to know is what kind of top you're like. You're obviously not supposed like, to wear a bra with it, right? Yeah. Look at that. Like you can't. You so bad. You should wear a bra, but your mm -hmm, boobs gonna be out. Exactly. So you're gonna like have like your nipples showing in the front because it's just white, cheap white fabric. Then the other thing, okay, these little ties—they're literally the same kind of strings that you get. You know, when you go to like a store and you get a drawstring, you get a drawstring plastic bag, and they have the, that's literally what this is. It's not even the nice string. No. It's like that same kind of string. Oh, and I got these little these little hands. Things. These little hand um, things. They're not. The what is their purpose? They do nothing. They they're do kind of vaguely uncomfortable. I have extremely tiny wrists. Yeah. The, these would not go on <laughs> normal person wrists. It's true. Like <laughs> I had trouble, and like they're cutting off the circulation of my finger right now. <laughs> it's like, so bad. Already. I, I like the the point that you made before is that the sequin it's, stuff is like the cheap sequin dance stuff that you get for like your first dance recital. Yeah. It's so bad. I can't drink or treat in this. No, this is, you can't do anything this in this. This is cold. You're gonna be cold all night. Look, you got this huge slope inside. Nobody <laughs> wants to see your underwear. Go put on some pants. Just choose a different costume. Don't buy this. No one should no. ever choose this costume don't for Halloween this. ever. Just don't. Just no. on every level, it's just not good. What would you, out of five ghosts, saying boo because it sucks, uh, what would you rate this costume? So like five boos is the worst boo, right? Uh, five boos is like good, zero boos is terrible. I have to actually go with zero boos. I'll give him my boo breakdown. I'm okay. cold. I started itching. I'm losing feeling in my fingers. <laughs> The yeah. very obvious cultural appropriation. appropriation and just the sequins. The sequins <laughs> are real so bad. bad. They're real bad. Wow. <laughs> so we're starting things off pretty strong. So last time we opened this um, like off camera, but we quickly realized that's probably better to open these on camera. So I'm gonna open my lovely sexy bee costume <laughs> uh, on camera so we can. Have a little look see at what's in here. We got some wings. That's actually some tiny wings. Are they're they okay? They're not bad. I'm surprised how it even comes with the wings. I was expecting it to just come with just the dress and like mm -hmm. nothing else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have some wings. 
We have, okay. Oh, All right, so we oh, have I like a little honeybee one. That's cute. Here, you hold the, oh, hold the bee. Thank you. <laughs> it will be great. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's like a that's little- That's cute. That's actually kind of cute. I like that. There's a little honeybee scepter. I don't know which way it's supposed to be. Uh... <laughs> okay, this is the front. So you can just, that's actually really cute. I'm actually quite happy with that. This headband looks like it's for like five, five year olds. Oh, oh, it's not gonna fit. That is not gonna, it's not gonna fit. Whose head is that supposed to fit? <laughs> this is for like a grown ass person. And it's, it's pipe cleaners. It's, it's pipe cleaners and pop pop. I could have made this in Aww. third grade, but like this is like a baby's headband. <laughs> like, <laughs> am I pretty yet? Let's look at the actual the oh. dress. The actual dress. Oh, oh. It's so transparent. It's actually pretty big too. I don't know if that's gonna stay this up is on not, you. Okay, it's not gonna look like the picture. This is not gonna fit nicely. This is probably gonna look like a sack. That's not gonna cover any booty. The crinoline's kind of cute. I, I'll give them that. But like, this is super sheer. Like if you just <laughs> look at the black, you can see the stripes really clearly through, right through it. All right, so I'm gonna try this on and uh, <laughs> this is gonna be something. <laughs> According to all known laws of aviation, the bee should not be able to fly. Its pudgy little body is too heavy for its tiny wings. This is my Femme Barry the Bee cosplay from the national treasure known as Bee Movie. Okay, so this one is actually... It's actually cute. It's actually pretty cute. It doesn't fit the same way that it does in the picture, but we expected that. It's because it's cute. It's cute. Because the model in the picture, like, her butt's out. Her butt is... Yeah, it's, it's like, long. It's yeah. long on Anya, so it actually looks, like, really cute. Yeah. My only real gripe is kind of that this is not gonna stay up on by itself, especially if you're at a party. So I would definitely add straps. These are just my bra straps, but I would actually add straps because, like, this is a lot Plasticized. You know, if you jump too much at like a Halloween party yeah. or a Halloween dance or whatever, it's definitely gonna. <laughs> it's going. It's, it's going. going. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for four bucks, this is yeah. actually really cute. It was four fifty bucks. bucks though. Yeah, it's not worth out 50. fifty. Not mm -hmm. worth, it. especially this garbage. <laughs> I am so salty. Like, if you had paid fifty bucks and you like, this is literally a child's headband. Like, this is meant for a six-year-old head. Not a it's two pieces of pipe cleaner stuck to a child's headband. You could definitely just buy another headband, rip this off, and then glue it. But like yeah. for fifty bucks, if you did buy it full price, you don't want to put in that. You don't effort. want to put in that effort. But for four bucks, I'm actually happy doing that, and I'm probably actually gonna keep this. The wings are good. Like the wings, yeah, the actually... wings are cute. They've got glitter. Look at that glitter. It's nice it's glitter. And I really like the wand. Like I didn't the even. Wand's adorable. The wand was a surprise. I actually feel super cute in this. I don't feel slutty. I don't feel it's super like cute. not that there's anything wrong with sexy costumes. It's just not my personal cup of tea. But like I like this looks cute. I'm actually probably gonna keep this. Crazy. Uh, do it. Yeah. So it's cute. Yeah, for four dollars, um, I would definitely rate this four and a half booze out of five, just because the headband is upsetting. It's not terrible, but it's upsetting. But if I had paid fifty bucks for this, I would probably only rate it like maybe three out of five. It's like for 50 bucks, you yeah. want your headband to fit. This is not gonna fit any adult. No. Who thought this was a good, anyway. But yeah, for four bucks, I'm actually really happy with this. And I'm stoked that there's actually a costume from this that I'm gonna keep for myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, awesome. Cute. Okay, so now we're moving on to uh, costume number two, two for, for you, me, but three for overall. Yes. This one is the worst one by far. <laughs> look at this. Can we just talk about the packaging though? Because these costumes, they look usually crappy in real life, but like the picture is supposed to make it look really good, but like it looks, look it looks really terrible. Good. Okay, this looks like it was taken on somebody's flip phone mm -hmm. in like their basement oh, yes. in like 2006. It's very Britney spears ass. It's very Britney Spears. I'm getting also a little bit of like a Paris Hilton vibe. Can we just talk about this Comic Sans though? Comic oh, yeah. Sans. Okay, Graphic all... design is my passion. And I don't think I think there's actually a poodle on the there skirt is no in the poodle. picture. It's supposed to be like a sexy poodle skirt lady, but it just like. screams like Britney Spears music video to me. Everything about this is just a hot mess, and they originally wanted $30 for this. Can you? <laughs> Luckily, I got it for five. Actually, this was the most expensive costume out of all the ones that I bought. It was $5 instead of four. But let's go ahead and open no. this bad boy up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh we you. got a skirt. Wait. Oh, oh there, there is, is a, a poodle. poodle! It's black! How did it not show up on the picture? Oh, so this is definitely glue gunned on. It's bad. He's got one front leg that then separates into two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's so bad. Oh, and then we've got the what the shirt. Hell? This smells. Oh, it smells like fish. It smells like like rotting fish. Yeah. Oh, it does, yeah. It does. It smells like fish. It smells like rotting fish. It smells like rotting fish. What the heck? 
time to put this on my body. Go do the, oh, the snaps work. Oh, they're actually some nice snaps. Some nice snaps, That's but like, point. not that you need them. Yeah. Do we want to iron this or do we care? Oh, we don't care. We don't care. It's they not going to make it look any better. Nope. All right, well, let's, uh, let's try on this hot mess. <laughs> so bad i mean it did actually manage to be worse than the picture and that's saying a, like okay so first of all this undershirt did not come with the costume when she put it on <laughs> it covers nothing it covers nothing so you can see her bra so we had to put this on to make it child friendly. child friendly it's not child friendly this is not still. child friendly where do we start <laughs> like, this i'm is... gonna start with my breathing she can't breathe. i can't <laughs> This is so tight on me. If I breathe too deeply, it's gonna just pop open. The skirt see. likes to sneak up. It likes to sneak up higher and higher and higher. <laughs> Even here, where it's like naturally looks the best, my butt is still up. It's bad. She has shorts on underneath. Like yeah, we're I got trying, short we're trying to make this as PG thirteen or PG as we oh. possibly can. This is the creepiest looking dog. It's coming off of it. Yeah, because oh, yeah. it's glue gunned on there. It's a small, small costume. It's one size. It's one size fits most. <laughs> Who's most? This is <laughs> not real people. And like, oh. Madeline is small, right? You don't have a lot of chest and like, no. it's not like... This ain't going over anybody's boobs. I can wear nothing under a shirt and pass in male cosplay. Right. I don't usually bind. I just started binding, but I haven't needed to before because I don't have anything. Yeah. And I can barely breathe in this. <laughs> Who is this supposed to fit? Everything about this is cheap and terrible. And you're gonna be cold! And you can't yeah. trick or treat in this either! So, uh, what wonderful rating are we giving this costume today? I'm gonna stop my things again. Let's see. It's cold! Again, you're gonna be cold. It doesn't fit. It's not gonna fit. It doesn't most fit. I people. can't breathe. <laughs> I don't think this would fit anybody. And you can't even get it in a different size because it's one no. size yeah, fits all. One size fits no one, huh? This is scratchy. I don't know what number I'm on. Someone say three. The skirt keeps riding up higher and higher, and my butt keeps getting lower and lower. Your boobs are hanging out. Because it doesn't yeah. cover anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the poodle is, is like terrifying. Like, this is just the silhouette of the poodle. I don't yeah. actually see what the, the poodle actual looks poodle looks like. like. I can't go beyond here. Yeah, that's my a arms problem. Without it ripping. So you can't even Do you dance. Do you care about this it. costume? Heck no. <laughs> <laughs> snaps being good, but then I did that and they weren't so good. So it's getting a negative seven. Imagine spending $30 on this. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna spend two bucks on this. Yeah, I, don't know I spent $5 on this. So now let's move on to the final costume. So it's good. Robocop. Female. Female, sexy, sexy, Robocop. sexy Robocop. Okay, so the thing about this costume is that it has been at that same dollar store for at least the past six years. I remember seeing this back when I first saw Robocop, which was, it was a traumatizing experience because that movie is just a lot <laughs> to take in. Yeah, but I remember seeing this costume in the store after I had seen Robocop and I was like, wow, that's really awful. And when I first saw this costume, it was probably at, I want to say at least $30. Oh, regular sure. price and they bring it out every year and last year they finally marked it down to four dollars And I honestly never thought that I would actually have this in my possession. I'm so glad you do. I'm just I feel so blessed to have this Let's get to it. This <laughs> is really bad. Oh, it's mostly foam. It's, okay, so this is like fraying. It says it Robocop, says Robocop so in know. case you weren't clear. Well, you are going to be clear because it looks nothing like it. <laughs> this is cardboard. This is made of cardboard. This was actually kind of the coolest looking part of the costume, just looking at the pieces, but it's made of cardboard. Hello, this is my femme sexy <laughs> Soldier 76 cosplay. <laughs> We're all soldiers now. We're all soldiers now. <laughs> and then for your leggings. And suffering just <laughs> <It was> great <laughs> let's do this i'm ready hi oh my sh holy this is not this is <laughs> grandma who just <laughs> thinks metallic clothes are really hip. Yours was the sexy young version of Soldier 76 and this is my sexy old version, old version of Soldier 76 or like or like grandma Cyclops is the other vibe I'm getting. I like my robo abs. Those are really fun but like everything like okay this is the you get two sleeves for the price of one. Like this just velcros onto your normal sleeves and since it's velcro whenever you move your arm it just snaps off so I gave up but like 
there's nothing keeping you from just sewing this to the actual dress. Why is it? Why would you put in the extra work to make it Velcro? So you have so little visible <laughs> space, and like my makeup has gotten on it, so it's all like foggy. This Robocop. keeps. It's like, oh right, I'm Robocop. You can't like it. it just you gotta go. You gotta go <laughs> Robocop. We noticed that the skirt's material. If you if stretch, you stretch it, it, it's stretchy, but it won't stretch, stretch back. back. It just stays It stretched. just permanently goes like that. <laughs> um, the gloves are actually not as terrible as I thought they would be. They do actually kind of fit, fit, except for the thumb. Mm -hmm. So as far as mm -hmm. cheap gloves go, this isn't actually as bad. It's not the worst part of the costume at all. No. The back, okay, the, ba the way the back is sewn. So I had to zip her into this because <laughs> you have to have it pulled like really tight, but it's so gathered then, or you can't, you need, Two feet helpers to get into this yeah. costume. Like it took me like five minutes of like holding it with oh one hand and trying to zip it at the same time. And like if you showed up like this at a party, people would be like, "What the heck are you like?" Except for the fact that you have Robocop. Robocop. If you need to put the name of the costume on the costume, it's not a good costume. I feel like this was a really last minute thing. I think they were like, "Oh, like nothing about this really screams Robocop." Quick, what can we do? You can tell because it's fraying. This little thing is fraying. You can tell they just like, oh, quickly just print it out and like put it over. here because it doesn't even fit well. Like the whole thing is just a disaster. I hate it so much. Uh, the boot covers are nice though. I do actually quite like yeah. the boot covers. Those are kind of nifty looking. You Those can... aren't bad. I do not want to ever go out in public. Dress like, well, I'm gonna be posting this on YouTube, so I guess that's kind of like going on public, yeah. but at least I don't have to see people stare. Like, I would hate to wear this at a party. So my rating for this costume, I'm gonna do a quarter of a boo out of five, because this is just hot, hot, hot garbage. Like, I would be so embarrassed if I wore this to a Halloween costume party. Like, it would be bad. Well, there you have it. There we are trying out terrible, terrible dollar store Halloween costumes. It was bad. <laughs> the bee is staying, but everything else is going straight to the thrift store. It might even be better just to throw them out because I feel like no one would want to wear these. Either way, these are not staying in my possession. <laughs> Thank you so much to Madeline for joining me for my first ever collaboration video that I'm posting on this channel. Yeah. I appreciate you suffering through this with me. It was really great yes, of you. I'm very cold. Yes, I'm sorry. we'll get you some clothes. And uh, thank you guys all for hanging out with us today and uh, chilling out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah. please make good decisions this Halloween when it comes to buying store-bought stuff. Anyway, I'm an 80s potato. I'm young femme soldier 76. 76. And uh, we're signing off. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with us today. And I will see you all next time for my next video in Pandaween 2017. Do you want to do the side this time? <laughs> I get to do the impersonation. You get to do the impersonation of me. Go for it. Until next time, be sure to take care of panda faces. <laughs> <laughs> Did that work? Okay, bye. <laughs>